நேரு யுவ கேந்திரா மதுரை மினிஸ்ட்ரி ஆஃப் யூத் அஃபேர்ஸ் அண்ட் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் மற்றும் கல்வி குரூப் ஆஃப் ஸ்கூல் இணைந்து நடத்தும் மாவட்ட அளவிலான யுவ உற்சவ் இரண்டாயிரத்தி இருபத்தி இரண்டு India is my country and all Indians are my brothers and sisters. The very pledge of the country even insists us to remember unity in diversity. Good morning everyone. It gives me immense pleasure to deliver my speech before you all on this great day. Today in the calendar is a red letter day because I'm going to give a speech on the most important topic, the goal of developed India. It gives me immense pleasure to deliver the speech about the goodness of our country India. India, a place of heritage, culture, spirituality, honesty and so on. Future India 2050, according to me, any country is a bring to be called as a well developed country. We are taking every steps hard and confident so that we will gain success in all the fields very soon. Here are some of the successful events which have took place recently that shows the full development of our country. They are demonetization, strengthening of our armed forces, educational development and technological advancement. The government of our India are taking sincere efforts to make our citizens to lead a peaceful life in our country. And the government schools are getting better day by day so that there would be a time where our government schools have grown and developed into a thing in which most of the country's students would opt for government schools and not for private schools. It can be anyone, it can be CM's daughter, PM's and anyone, they will opt for government schools. Women, the soul behind all the body and the light behind all brightness. So women have gained such a confidence so that we can see them in any and every sectors. We can see women doctors, teachers, engineers and even women drivers. They have improved in a lot of sectors and women writers who have believed that freedom is our birthright and it is not given by any of the men after our birth. And also I am definitely sure that women will get 50% of the seats in the parliament too. Next, with the technology. Soon there will be a time where our country is fully dependent on the robots. Robots will do all the hard jobs and let Indians to concentrate in the upliftment of our country by wits. Scientists and all will discover a lot of antidoses and vaccinations for all kinds of viruses and diseases that we could, get, we could throw off any diseases. It may be corona, everything we throw off with one vaccination. And some of the best examples are Abdul Kalam. Abdul Kalam was a great scientist. He have discovered a lot in the scientific world. But he was proud to discover the cure for the crippled children by giving them artificial leg with less weight for the welfare of that students. And next up, the most used that is 99.9% people of our country are using mail, especially hot mail. So do you know who have discovered it? It is Sabi Bhatia who is an Indian. And then zero. We think zero means nothing but it is not the truth. It has an important thing in the number system and also it is an element which could be understood by the computer. And it was discovered by Aryabhata who was also an Indian. The most used application, Google. There is no one in the world to tell without telling, okay Google. So everyone use Google and there are competitions like Google Doodle and a lot of advancements in Google. And the CEO of Google as we all know Sundar Pichai is an Indian and especially an Tamilian. So let me tell about my assumption on how my future India will be. My India will be number one in the education field so that each and every citizen would be educated and literate including the poorest. And my country will be number one in all terms, in terms of forces, army, education, economy and social welfare. And all the farmers will be exempted from all kinds of taxes and they would have all the rights to sell their grains with their own price. And all the Indians, I swear, to stay in India and provide all the necessary steps for the development of the India. And India will be an example for treating women with utmost respect and all. And then, attack wins you games and defense wins you titles. So, our defense, the army, navy, air force will all be the strongest in the world. And the medical development will be in a place where we can throw off any diseases with just one vaccination. Last but always the latest. 
our India, that is my country India, would be free from scarcity of food, water, poverty, and importantly, it would be free from the scarcity of humanity. So my country in 2015 will be the first and the strongest country in the world, putting back all other countries. And I am so proud to be called as Rashmika, an Indian from Kalvi International Public School. Thank you everyone for giving me this wonderful opportunity and who have lent your ears and your precious time to my speech. Thank you. Kalvi Group of Schools.